For all the pomp and tradition, her late majesty's true magic was in her humility. She did not need a gilded throne or royal regalia to touch people. It was in her smile, her poise, her natural charm, understated yet reassuring the best of Britain. Thank you, Mr Speaker, for allowing me to make this brief tribute on behalf of the royal town of Sutton Coalfield, a royal town now for 494 years, who at this sad time unite with the rest of the country in shared sorrow. The Queen's visit to the 9th World Scout Jamboree held in <coughs> Sutton Park in 1957 is still remembered by my older constituents as she came to join in the celebrations for the 50th anniversary of scouting and had lunch in our magnificent town hall. And Mr Speaker, I have never visited a primary school where one of the first questions hasn't been, have you met the Queen? I had the privilege and good fortune to meet the Queen when I was her International <coughs> Development Secretary. Like millions around the world, I will never forget every second of those meetings. She was intensely interested in the less developed members of the Commonwealth. She was the reason the Commonwealth not only survived, it flourished and grew, reaching out to unexpected parts of the world with Rwanda enthusiastically joining. And at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting held in June this year in Rwanda, I watched the binding power of the monarchy as the King, as he now is, spoke on behalf of Her Late Majesty of the ideals and values she inspired and to which so many nations now aspire. In Kigali, the capital of one of the Commonwealth's youngest countries, the national flag and the flag of the East African community are today flying at half-mast and will continue to do so until the Queen's funeral. I also remember travelling for many hours in Uganda to the hospital in Masaka, run by an 80-year-old sister of the medical missionaries of Mary, who had recently received the OBE from the Queen for her 50 years of service. And in the hospital entrance hung a huge picture of the President of Uganda, Mr Museveni, alongside an equally huge one of Her Majesty, the Head of the Commonwealth. Tomorrow, Mr Speaker, in the royal town of Sutton Coalfield, we will hold a service of remembrance in our town church, Holy Trinity, followed by a reading of today's proclamation. And we will mourn the loss of our great Queen, who meant so much to us all. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, <clears throat> like 